Cristiano, it's nearly two months since you've been back at Manchester United. How have you found it and is it what you expected? Yes, uh, when I left the club, I knew it all big as is Manchester. So, uh, as you mentioned before, I am two months here. So everything is subtle, so it's good. I'm happy, family is happy. I'm still adapt to the club, to the new, new players. Uh, but it's good. Uh, so far, it's, it's brilliant and I'm, I'm so happy to be here. From last time you were here, what is different and what is the same? What have you noticed? Well, some phases uh, still familiar for me. Uh, but the most of the players, I can say, all the players, they are new or they are different. Only Tom, the keeper, uh, Tom Hitton, it's the only player that I, it was with me in 2004. So it's good, uh, new faces, faces that I knew it before. Someone, they, they play with me in the national team, Bruno and Dalot. And the rest, I knew, you know, as a, as a professional player. And it's good, as I told you before, it's still uh, adaptation for me. New player, the new league, um, a new system. But it's, it's, it's been good so far. I'm, as I told you, I'm, I'm happy uh, to be back where I belong. Now, all new players have to sing an initiation song when they join a club. I'm told that you ducked out of that. You said, no, no, I did that when I first joined. And you did a speech in de instead. What, what was in your speech? What were you saying to your new teammates? Well, I, 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 say, I said what I, what I felt in that moment that I'm here, um, you know, to win. Uh, Manchester, it's synonym of to win things and I'm not here for, for holidays. So what I say to them and that I see a huge potential in this team, a very young players, uh, very potential players, and I'm here to win. I'm here to help the team to build up uh, new stuff. So I speak more stuff, but I, I don't remember really, really well, but it was good, good speeches. I, I didn't sing because I, I tell them that I sing um, a few years ago, <laughs> to don't say many years ago, but it was good. The, the boys, they understand me. It was a good speeches. So I was happy in that night. You say you're here to win. That's very simple, but have you still got the same motivation, the same desire? Because you're 36 years of age and you've won virtually everything possible in the game. How, how have you still got the same motivation? Well, I'm still, I still capable and happy and motivated, you know, to, to wake up in the morning and coming for the training, uh, to play games, which is, is the most easy thing is to play. But the, the background, it's the most difficult, is the preparation, to train every day. To do it, uh, that stuff, to repeat the same stuff that I start to do it with 16, 17, 18 years old. But I'm still motivated. I think it's the main word is that I'm still happy and enjoy the football. doesn't matter how much things that I won in my career. So I win um, everything, as you say. But I'm still motivated. I'm in a, in a new chapter of my life, even with my, with my age. And um, this is why I'm here, to try to win. And I think Manchester um, needs to be in this level of winning and thinking to win big things. So I'm here to help. You recently broke the international goal scoring record of all time. So congratulations Thank you. for that. Having done that, why not, like a lot of players, retire from international football to extend your club career? But why? Why they, they, they retired? I think it's not my time already. Um, it's not when the, the, the people want, it's when I want, it's when, when I will feel that I'm not capable, you know, to run, to dribbling, to shooting. The power is gone, but I still have that, that, that stuff. So I want to continue because, as I mentioned, and, and I, as I told you before, I'm, I'm still motivated. It's the main word, you know, to do it my stuff and to make people happy, to make my family happy, to, to make the fans happy and myself, which is the most important. I want to put the level even higher. I mean, you mentioned the, 
the goal scorer from national Portugal national team. I want to make the level I even you can mention as well in the Champions League. I'm the most uh, scores, the most winning, the most assistance, the most everything. As I, I as I know, the most who take penalties, the most free kicks. But I want to carry on because I, I like you know I, I like to play football. I feel I feel I feel good to make people happy. So those individual targets as well. Are you still motivated by that? For instance, is it your desire to be the Golden Boot winner this season in the Premier League? Are these things important to you? Everything is important. I will try my best. Uh, I know it will be difficult, but it's possible. Uh, we are in a moment, in my opinion, that Manchester, they do with a few chances, uh, changes. Uh, they buy me, they buy uh, Varane and Sancho. Uh, the adaptation will take time, um, even the system of the, the game that we play. But I think step by step, we, we have to put it in our mind, individual players, that everything is possible. I don't speak about only my individual stuff. I put the collective in the first place. To win things as a collective, it's more easy to win individual stuff. So I believe that and I'm still thinking that it's possible. So everyone now and should know our role. Uh, I know my role in the team, in the club. But I will think. What is that? What is your role in the team? My role, my role is to score goals, to help the team with my my experience, my know-how of of to understand the game, um, and help the team. If you want, if if every player thinking like that, I think we will be a, a better team. Sacrifice for the team, uh, run when you don't have more more power or legs to run. But in your mind, you have to be. Strong. You have a fantastic supporters behind us, fantastic stadium, uh, fantastic team. So we have to carry on like that. After the game the other night, after the Atalanta game, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said, talking about you, nobody can question his effort and his work rate after the game. Because you'll be aware that there had been criticism of your work rate during the game. Yet, when you look at the statistics, I think you're only behind Mo Salah in terms of sprints and distance covered in the game. Are you more selective about the runs you make with experience now? You have to be smart. During my career, I, I changed a few stuff in my, the way I played. But this is, means that the other stuff you lost, the other stuff you... You're getting more experience. You know the criticize is always uh, part of the the business. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. We see many examples, and and I see as a good thing to be honest. If they worry about me or they speak about me, it's because they know my potential and my valor in, in a football still. So it's good. I can give you an example. If you are in a in a school and if you are the best study, you look the worst study you don't like him and if you ask the worst study if you like the first uh, the best study in a, in a school they say you don't like him so to criticize is part of the business so I'm deal with that for me it's not a it's not a problem it's it's even better because I motivate myself and change the way the people still thinking about me you seemed the other night to be doing more defensive work more tracking back was that a conscientious thing did the is that something the manager had said you need to do no, more? Nobody, nobody tell me, and I know what I have to do. It of course the, the coach help us and give his feedback, give experience what we have to do it. But I know when the team need my my help defensively. But my role in a club, it's you know as I told you before, is to win, to help the team to win, to score goals, and defensively is part of my job. Uh, the people who don't want to see that it because they. They, they, they don't like me, but I, to be honest, I don't, I'm 36, you know, I win everything. So how I'm gonna get, how I'm gonna be worried about the people who, who, who say bad things about me. You think I, I sleep good in the night every day. So I go to my bed with my conscience very good. So it's not a problem. Keep going to do that because I'm still uh, close mouths and win things. 
you know, with the indifferent results, the manager has come in for some criticism of late. You said yourself, the team are still finding their way to gel together. But do players, do you players, should you accept some of the responsibility for the results? We have to. To play in Manchester and to be a coach of Manchester, you always will be in the first page. You will always will be criticised. You have to accept. It's part of you, the business. It's part of the society, you know, to criticise you. You are one of the... You play in one of the biggest clubs in the world. All the eyes is on you, so it's normal. You have to deal. The coaches, the players, when we lost, we are in the same boat. And when we won, it's the same. So you have to deal with the pressure. The pressure is here. They're going to continue to be here when you lost, when you win. And you have to deal with that. It's part of our job. You know that you are one of a handful of global superstars. So. Everything you do, say, body language, gesture, everything is magnified. So do you have to be careful how you conduct yourself? For instance, when you came off against Everton with a draw, you were muttering to yourself, you were clearly unhappy, and that is immediately scrutinised. No problem. What, what were you saying to yourself that day? I don't like to lose. Draw. Draw. For me, it's a loss. Draw against Everton with my all respect to draw with Everton in home for me is like a lost. Maybe I'm thinking wrong, but this is the way I motivate myself and I win stuff during my my career, and I play the most important clubs in the world. Uh, so, as I told you, the criticism we always will exist here. Uh, I'm not hiding from that, and to be honest, I I really don't care about that because I know. The football is like that. Um, every time will be like that. When we when we lost, my reactions, for example, it's it's what I feel at the moment. You know, uh, sometimes I'm, I speak for myself. My self talk, most of the times, is very 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 positive. Uh, but sometimes, depend of the game. Maybe you say. Uh, things that you don't agree or whatever, but it's it's my it's me. Everyone know me. I'm always been like that. I'm not gonna change now with my you know with my my age and as I told you, I'm always will give hundred percent for this club. My reactions is part of what I am. I don't want to hurt nobody. It's me. The people I respect the other players that do it kind of the same because they felt. Uh, that they don't like to lost, but I know the eyes. They are always will be with the different eyes on me. I know because what I am, what I achieve, what I win. They want to don't want to give me credits for the good things. They are always gonna find the bad things. But for me, it's not a problem. The the life it's it's constant a lesson. So and I learn and I still learn with my my mistakes and to improve the next games. Because of your superstar status, but you, you are very much obviously playing in a team game, is there part of you that actually quite likes when a young player who hasn't achieved anything like you've achieved and says, hey, Cristiano, get up, you should be doing so-and-so. And that very much brings into focus, no matter how big the individual, it's a team game. Exactly. Is, is, it... is that something you enjoy, being treated exactly the same as the other players by the other players? Of course, this is why it's a collective game. Uh, you know, I want to want to give examples, example, uh, not by the mouth. I like to give the example in a pitch, in a training, daily, daily, uh, daily week, daily days, daily days. No, yeah, daily. That, yeah, day in, day out. The, yeah, and uh, they saw me. I don't want, you know, you cannot hide what you are, what you do, what you work. So they know me, but the rest, you know, I can't control. I can't control the world. I can't control myself. I can't control what I do, what I can help the team, what I, what I can give to the team. The rest, I think I'm a good example outside and inside the pitch. Did you get the same buzz that you've always had when you got that late winner against Atalanta? That same feeling? Well, this is why I'm still continuing to play football because I love that adrenaline. Not only because I scored the winning goal, but 
to winning, to winning for me to to arrive in home with a with a satisfied with the our job to win with goals it's even better. I'm not gonna lie to you, but the most important is to win. I'm here to win. I'm win. I'm here to win stuff, and um, I'm looking forward that many people doubt about us, but I. I still believe. I believe until the end of the, the championship, the Champions League, and we will see. Only in the end you can po point the, the finger.